My name is James and I will be taking you through this tutorial. By the end of this tutorial, you will have learned how to create a new work schedule or a new project in Microsoft Project Professional, how to create a custom project calendar, how to define working and non-working time, and how to set working and non-working days for your project. Now, for the purposes of this tutorial, we will use a popular project management case, or rather a case study known as the Red Zuma project. Now, I have the case study in a PDF format and the file can be accessed from my website. Now I want you to post this video if you do not have that file because it is very important and we'll be using it to refer. We'll be referring to it every every other time as we proceed with our tutorial. Now the download link is available in the in the description section of this video. So go ahead, download it and come back now I hope you have downloaded the the Red Zuma project case study now let's get started I have here project professional open and on the left side is a list here is supposed to be a list of the recent projects. That means the projects that we have um, created or we had created earlier using this software. Now you can see here that the software is telling us that you, we haven't opened any projects recently. To browse for a project, start by clicking on open other projects. Now if I click on this, I can be able to open other projects that are located in uh, my computer's hard disk. But that is not what I want us to do. Uh, so click on this arrow to go back. Now if you look at the right side of uh, the screen, we are given four options for now. We can create a blank project or we can create a new project from an existing project we can also create a new project from excel workbook and we can also create a new project from sharepoint tasks list now for this tutorial i want us to click to create a, a new project which is a blank project. So click on blank project. Now, when the project is created, this is the screen that opens. On this side, you can create your tasks, specify the duration, specify the start time, the start date, and the finish date and the predecessor so the successor of your task then on this other side the one that i am highlighting this is where the progress of your project can be seen a graphical representation of the project duration and how it relates to other projects basically what will be created on this side is is a bar chart popularly known as a Gantt chart. Now let's go to file and click on save us and specify I want us to save the project on our computer so I will save it in my flash disk and I'll call it rent zoomer project 
and when you are saving make sure you have selected under save as type as project this one then click save so after the project is saved we come back here and let's go to the pdf that we downloaded the redzuma project case study and see what it says now <coughs> we are told the ARC company specializes in developing and selling a wide range of high quality scooters so I hope I'm not going to waste time reading all this information I hope you will read it read it on uh, at your convenient time before we start this 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 part and then go back go down to this to this part one here that tells you that you are a member of a project team and there is something that's, that you are supposed to do what we want to do right now is we should specify in our schedule that the project begins at this date and then we have we have the holidays that we are supposed to cr to create in the project as or rather set them as non working days and all these other information that is here so i want us to go back to our project and go up here on the project tab and then click on change working time and when this opens you can see we have a calendar here we have 24 hours calendar we have a night shift calendar and we have a standard project calendar now i want us to create a new project and let it be a copy of the standard calendar and then name that project name that new base calendar as red zuma project calendar and click ok and then click ok we have created a new calendar and then we need to set that new calendar as the calendar for our project so what do we do we go back to the project tab this one that is open here and then click on click on project information here when that opens there is calendar here so it's our calendar for the project is set as standard I want us to change this to the new calendar that we have created the red zoomer calendar click click on it and then click ok now going back to this information we are told that our project begins uh, on the 2nd of January 2015 so go back to project project information and here is the start date so change the start date click on this part then go to should be January 2, 2015 so 2015 2015 January it's here 2nd which is on a Friday click OK and then the following holidays are observed January 1 so <coughs> for us to set the holidays we need to look at uh, we need to change a working day in our calendar to a non-working day so what we do is we go back to still on the project tab we go back to change working time and then uh, if you look at this legend working days are marked as this shade and working days and the others 
Now for us we have an unworking day which is January 1 is a holiday. So we go to 2015. 2015 January 1 and we set it as a holiday. So click down here. Type holiday and click end. Now after we've done that, you see project tells us that the first day of January 2015 is set to an unworking day on our project calendar that the one we have chosen which is Red Zuma project calendar. Now go back but in do the king day is observed on the third Monday in January. So this is January. The first Monday is this, the second Monday, and the third Monday. So this is Martin Luther King Day. And then there's a Memorial Day, which is the last Monday in May. So we go to May, February, March, April, May, and we are told last Monday in May is a Memorial Day. Last Monday in May, first, second, third. Last Monday in May is on 25th. It's a Memorial, Memorial Day. Click set to an unworking day. July 4th is a holiday. Go to July. 4th is a holiday. And you notice that July 4th on our calendar is already an unworking day. And the instructions here tell us that if a holiday falls on a Saturday, then Friday will be given an extra day off. And if it falls on a Sunday, then Monday will be given uh, as a day off. So for us here, our holiday falls on an unworking day, which is Saturday. So we will designate Friday as, as a day off or as a holiday. So for us, we will set that of July as a holiday. And then the next holiday is a Labor Day on the first Monday in September. So we go to September and the first Monday is this one. We set it to Labor Day. Labor Day. Labor Day and Thanksgiving Day is the fourth Thursday in November. So we go to November, fourth Thursday. This is the first, second, and fourth. Say that to Thanksgiving Day. The last holiday is December 25th. December 25th is a holiday. So we have set our non working days in the base calendar that we have created. So I want you to click on these options and you can choose when your day starts. Like for this project, my day starts on Sunday. My week starts on Sunday, sorry. The fiscal year starts, starts in January. This is the time format that I want. And uh, work starts from 8 a.m. to 5.00 p.m. 8 hours per day, 
40 hours per week and 20 days per month so make sure to check all these options like I have here duration is entered in days and working hours so look at this these uh, settings here and after you have customized them you can click on ok and then click on ok to save our calendar now we are through with this part and i hope you have found the video helpful in the next lesson i will show you how to create tasks how to specify specify task durations and task relationships so until next time keep learning and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel thank you